Hi, Fatima. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. How are you? How was your day? Um, it was um, quiet. No. Tranquilo. How do you say tranquilo? Still. It's still. Still. Like quiet. Not quiet because quiet is well, it would. Where there's like no big news whatsoever, ah, okay. but still, it's like there's not a lot of activities going on. Mm -hmm. ah, yes. So I had a still day. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Or um, an easy going day as well. Mm -hmm. Not easy a relevant. Go. Easy going. Easy uh, going. Or not relevant. Nothing relevant to. Like if there was not. If you didn't have anything different or it was easy day, it was an easy day, mm -hmm. easy going day. Mm -hmm. Easy going. Yes. Yeah, and all the all the news that mm -hmm. are um, happening. Oh well, in the on at work, uh, we have a uh, a maid that. She is incapacitada. How this? Okay, she's on a medical on a medical leave. I'm writing it down on the chat. She is on a medical leave. Medical, mm -hmm. uh, on, a medical on a medical leave, leave. Mm -hmm. because she has fever. Okay. <laughs> she has um, go go go. She has she has a cold. Like, huh? She's quite sick. Seems like cold. Huh? But some people are afraid. <laughs> I know. Every I guess everybody, if you hear somebody <laughs> and then you get Whoa. scared. I went to the supermarket today to Super Selectos. I went to Dollar City, Super Selectos, and and La Espensa. And it was very funny because the first one, I always, you know, because I have two kids, so I have to protect myself because it's me going oh. out, right? So I use a I use a mask. Long story short. Uh, I went there and I noticed nobody, well, the cashiers were using a mask in Super Selectos, but not anybody else there buying products were using one. And I said, huh, mm -hmm. you know, they should be using one. Then I went to Dollar City, no one was using one. And then I went to um, La Espensa and not even the cashiers, they were using, even the guys at Super Selectos that pack your things, you know, the guys that packed yeah, their bags, yeah. they were using gloves and they were using also a mask, but nobody else was actually using one. I was, I was really concerned because I'm like, I think they are not overseeing that this is something critical and they should be protecting themselves because then they go home and to their families, etc. And then that's how. But I don't is. know if the, the government gives uh, instructions to use that. Yeah, they, it, he did. I mean, he every, did. Uh -huh. every people that uh, manipulate things. Manipulates like, money, products. Uh -huh. Yeah. Have to okay. use gloves. Today, I I went to Bonbon, the, the bakery. Mm -hmm. And the, this sailor, how do you say? The no, cashier? Sailor, no, the cashier. No, it's not the cashier, but it's the person uh, that who gives that gives you the things, the bread, the the um, like the customer serve, service. Serve yes, uh -huh. customer service representative. I'd say, uh -huh. so, the person who gives uh, you okay, And she she um better they um wear using gloves but using, uh -huh. no they weren't using mask or how do you say have masks uh-huh they okay. don't use it they i i want to say estaban no estaban. they were they were they were or they were not if it's negative uh -huh. they were not they were not using hmm? masks only gloves. Only gloves. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's food. It's bread. She was cutting the. Manipulating. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Yeah, but when when this made some someone of the team were scared <laughs> because um, when she leaves on a medical leave, when when she said when she left on a medical leave, yes, and you said that she had had an American leave, we we were in a meeting in a in a room in a meeting okay. for <laughs> so we um a, a meter of distance is so <laughs> we we were scared but it's yes. uh, is for no longer no no duró mucho it didn't last long uh -huh, didn't last long it didn't uh -huh, it did <clears throat> I imagine that the the people are seeing the national. The, not yet, they're all the they're they're all connected watching. Yes, it's called national broadcast. National broadcast. Yes. National. It's broadcast. And wow, I guess everybody's surprised. I'm surprised. I've been working. Well, I have worked with call centers when Sykes was the first one. So I, I was shocked it, when he said that, it, you know, as of tomorrow, all the call centers need to close. I was in shock. Yeah. I never heard. I never imagined they were going to say that. Yeah. I was not expecting that because um, half of our population, like young population works in the call center. And I was reading that uh, this disease actually affects youngsters. It actually affects young people, very young people Yay, and elder that. people, not kids and not like middle age. It's more like with very young, you know, teenagers and youngsters between 20 and their 20s and elder people. Yes, I guess I because heard. I don't have enough. Ah, see. So <laughs> I heard that uh, a man who has 37 or 40 mm -hmm. died in Spain. Wow. Yeah, very. A 27 year old doctor died from the disease wow. in Spain, too. Very and young. No, 24. I think it was a 24 or 27. No, 24 year old doctor. Mm -hmm. I heard. It tells me that in Korea, it, that that kind of people don't die didn't die just yeah. older people mm -hmm. so it it seems like it's the this the virus is mutating to i don't know something stronger that affect young people what happens is that they don't have very good defenses. So if their immune system is not healthy, especially because you know that the new, in, well, in my case, in our cases, I guess, our generations, we still had vegetables when we were kids and we still had a very good, you know, a vitamin and, you know, not only vitamins, but we had all the complements we needed in order to be a Good or in shape in good health, Healthy. right? Yes. Because of our grandmothers and our, our parents as well. But nowadays, I guess the new generations are lacking of that. So I guess their immune system, it's quite, I think it's quite not doing so good. And that's why it's been affected. And, and elder people, because obviously their defenses go down, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, Wilbur, good evening. Hello teacher, good evening. I'm sorry for my delay. Don't I'm watching worry. the TV, uh, uh, the TV uh, uh, chain broadcast. from the president. It really is alarmant that the, the, the international situation. i watching the, the TV, the video from the Spain and uh, from the doctor he is real alarmant real alarm yeah. how old was the doctor 24 years old right yeah the doctor that died. 37 ah 37 well i heard some mm -hmm. some mates tell me that he 
had 37. He that was, he was 37. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Teacher, yes. and, the, and the president is a, a size, what the call center it will be closer. I was, My, that's why uh, something, I, I told Fatima just that I was yeah. surprised to hear that. I don't think, and because of I have a lot of students and friends that work, I have worked in call centers half of yeah. my life, and I, I have heard comments, for example, for one call center that they they didn't leave, they didn't let this per pregnant person leave the company. Yeah. They're, they're asking, what they're doing is that they're sensing if they have a computer from home, so mm -hmm. they can work remotely, like answer calls, but from their house, having the shift respecting the shift that I guess they had at the call center. Um, and I was also telling Fatima that I think that this is very good because the virus is affecting youngsters, people their age or the guys that work in call centers who are in that age. So it's affecting them a lot. So we'll see how that goes. I don't think, hopefully call centers are going to pay attention, but I don't know, it's gonna be very difficult. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. It's going to be because the clients, the clients are very difficult to deal with. The yeah. clients are very picky and they don't really don't respect. They're not going to respect this national emergency. They're just going to stop. They're going to look for another country. I don't know. They're, they're very radical. Clients are very, very picky and difficult. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully let's, let's hope that we get something positive out of this. Right. But I was I was I was surprised with what you're saying. <laughs> Super surprised. I was like, oh, "Are you serious? Are you going to okay. order closing call centers for 15 days? 15, right? Yeah. yeah. 15 days. Yeah. Wow. 15 days. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Hennessy. Good evening. How are you? Hello, Genesis. She there? Are you there? Are you there? Hi. hi Hello, you. hi, Genesis. How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> are you? Good. Great. Scared? Nah. Not scared, but hopefully, you know. Yeah, I'm. I'm surprised for the news. So fight. Super surprised. <laughs> Okay, so guys, we're going to do something related to CAN today, okay? So this is what we're going to do. Um, I want you to start thinking of creative questions. I'm going to share my questions, and you're going to have to answer them. And then at the end, you're going to have to create other creative ones similar to mine, and then you're going to share them with us, okay? Just the questions. Let's go ahead and start. Um, let me see here. Just give me a minute. Let me share this. Okay, um, let me go to the beginning. Okay, are you able to see my presentation, my PowerPoint? Can you? Yes. Okay, great. Okay. Let's start with the first one. So I'm gonna be asking you questions with Ken and then you're gonna tell me the answer to them and then we're gonna talk, a, we're gonna discuss them a little bit, okay? For, the, for example, um, the first one, can you wink? Can you guys wink? Only wink, only one eye. Or sometimes we have like we have like a stronger eye. We can wink with yeah. the left ones or with the right one, right? But sometimes yeah. we cannot do it with both. Can you <laughs> wink with both? Like no, I use with difficult? the with the right. With Are the you right left-handed? Do you write with your left or with your right? Yeah, right. And you can wink your right eye. Yeah. And usually it's all the way around, okay? You can wink with your left if you're right-handed. And I can wink, I'm left-handed, but I wink with my right eye, or sometimes with my left, depending. But I wink more with my right eye. Yeah. What about yeah. you? <laughs> and the rest of the guys, what about you guys? Do you, can you wink? Will? Can you wink? I don't know, teacher. What is wink? It's when you close one of your eyes. Like oh, the picture okay. that you have on the screen. Yeah. Can you do that? Like wink? 
it's too birth. late. Birth? No, no. 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 How do you because you have your eyes, but you only uh, close, close one. your your huh? close one when oh, okay. you are saying a mm. a uh, 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 lie with a friend and you will ah, okay. cry <laughs> because ah, okay, cool. it's, a, it's a lie. <laughs> ah, okay. Thank you. Thank you. So can you wink? Can you wink, Will? Uh. <laughs> can you do it? Like, can you actually do it or you don't do it that often? Hello? Can you Sorry, do it? You. Yes, can you do it or do you do it? Do you usually do it or not really? Not really. Ah, okay. Now, when do you guys wink? Like uh, like Fatima was saying, you actually wink whenever you're saying a lie or when you want somebody just to go with the flow with you. Like, hey, let's, we're going to the park, right? Let's go. And then you wink. Just for somebody to follow along on what oh, you're saying, oh, whether it's lie. true, and, and follow <laughs> yeah. your line. Also, you yeah. wink you wink when you flirt with somebody, when it's, you tell somebody something nice or a nice comment, and then you wink, like when I you're flirting. When, I wink when uh, I want to someone follow my line. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I wink also when I'm saying, uh, and did you see I'm too good for I was, that? I was I was right and then you wink, right? I was right and then you uh -huh. wink. <laughs> I do know <laughs> and do not. <laughs> okay, very good. It's true. So you, that's when you tend to wink, right? <laughs> okay, let's go with the next one. Let's check out. So then that's when we wink, when we lie and when we're flirting or we want somebody to go along with what we're saying. Our next one is, can you juggle with balls? No. Have you ever I, tried one, two, three yes. balls? I tried. Mm -hmm. I did try, but I can't. <laughs> I could, I, no, I can't, definitely. Okay. Just went two, maybe. <laughs> maybe with two, right? With it's easier. Two. Now with three? No. I have seen, or the guys that actually are at the stoplights, you know, they get on a ah, like, yes. monocycle and then they start juggling with things. Even with yeah. knives. I have seen them with sharp knives and doing all uh, many things out there. So they can actually juggle, not only do with balls, but with other items, right? Hennessy's, can you juggle? I, I don't can. I can't. No, I don't. Okay, I can't. Uh huh. So if you ask can, you answer the same way. Can you? And they would say, no, I can't, or yes, I can. Just the verb can or can't, okay? I Okay, very good. Will, what about you? Can you juggle? Have you ever tried juggling with balls or with any other item? Uh, no, teacher. I cannot play juggle. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hi, teacher. Okay, I wanted to, I, I needed to come back to the main screen to actually see who was connected because I can't really um, see who is connected. Okay. Claudia, can you juggle with balls? Can you actually do that? Uh, no, I can't. I can't, teacher. I tried uh, some time, but uh, I didn't. Okay, you couldn't. Uh -huh. You have I tried, but you I couldn't. couldn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So remember, if they ask you with can, you would answer the same way. Can, cannot, or couldn't. If uh -huh. It was a pass. Uh -huh. Always remember, depending on how or what they used to ask you, that's how you're going to be answering. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. Okay, our next one. So start thinking of your questions because you're going to be doing the same ones, other questions using can 
but like this, very creative. Like the first one was, can you wink? Can you wink with your eye or your left or your right? Can you juggle? Let's go with the next one. Can you snap your fingers? Yes, I can. When do we, when do we snap? I can't, it's really hard, but I can, I'm, I'm trying. When do we snap, Will? When you uh, want something uh, fast. Oh, yeah. Someone fast. Someone do something fast. Okay. Right yeah. now. <laughs> right now. But it's something positive or negative, something bad, or is it something good? What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. I think that is something bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be something like you're ordering someone to like, fast, fast, fast. It seems no. like an order or something. Kind of disrespectful i think very good you do yeah it, very good stuff but when you do it with your friends is pickly <laughs> right. yeah it all depends on the context and all depends it all depends who you are with yeah right uh -huh. and yeah the level of like with your friends of course it would be maybe not that bad nevertheless with people that you actually don't know that much if you do this that they can get offended or yeah you know, oh, get yeah when people break who, their hearts you don't know uh, is yes it's not respect okay okay good now is there any other symbol to snapping also when everyone when, win with money right yeah yes yeah you say money 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 when, when you when you are um, listening to music Mm -hmm. And you have to uh, um, to do the rhythm or the song. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, nobody comes up with that one too. When you want to yes. follow the beat, that's the word, the beat. The beat of the song the or the rhythm, yes, or the rhythm mm -hmm. of the song and you start doing this, right? Also, uh, whenever you see an orchestra, they do this. One, two, three three yeah. and then they start doing that's it. true right <clears throat> you're so right uh, to that to professional dancers too uh-huh uh-huh they use it to, for professional the dancers count. Too. Uh -huh. count, mm -hmm. the count of the, uh, to the count one to dance uh -huh. yeah it's true to count the song uh -huh, of the song right it's true interesting um, also when you want to wake up somewhere or when you want your or uh, wake up <laughs> her attention ah yes. okay to get somebody's to get somebody's attention right uh-huh to hey. call my dog <laughs> yeah i was about to say that thank you steph to call your dog but we do that why do we do that sound <laughs> when the, the snap know. has nothing to do with that right <laughs> where's the combination there i don't know i don't understand we tend to do that right we like and the snapping it's not related to the i don't know right no. we tend to do that and also when we call people we tend to say hey, ch -ch -ch -ch, and we do that ch -ch -ch -ch. Uh -huh. I, I don't know where that pointing, comes from pointing with the with the mouth uh -huh. we it's make a salvadorian sound. thing <laughs> it's very Salvadoran. It's very us, right? When we make strange sounds with our fingers. And people say that. Actually, people from other countries, they tend to say that we, we use a lot our, our mouth to make sounds for everything, you know. We're very descriptive with our mouths in regards to sounds, and it's true. Okay. Very good. Next one. Can you wiggle your ears? your nose, your eyebrows, or any part of your face or body? Can you wiggle? That wiggle is to move unconscious. Like some people move their eyebrow. Let no, me I can't. This. Just my eyebrows. Like, yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you can actually do it with one and yeah. you can control what, or even people can move their ears. Yeah, I don't know my how they husband, do that. My husband <laughs> move his he, he, ears? his ears and you notice because he used um glasses he used it oh <laughs> so they actually move along the move the glasses and 
his ears. I can wiggle only one eyebrow and it took me a lot of years to practice. To learn, to, it's like you need to get to this meditation yeah. point, right? Like you have to really <laughs> concentrate. People say it's really easy, it's a piece of cake. No, you really oh, have no, to no, concentrate no. to actually I have to work for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wilbert, can you wiggle your ears, your eyebrows, your nose, any part of your face or? Uh, only the noise, maybe. <laughs> your eyebrows, you, you, when you're like, you, you tend to move your eyebrows, so you wiggle them. This is your eyebrow. eyebrow. It's when you move them, when you move them up and down, that's when you're wiggling. So that's to wiggle, it's to move on a circular form or up and down, just to move it, that's to call wiggle. Mm -hmm. So that's what we call wiggle. Okay, very good. Anybody else able to wiggle? No? No. <laughs> Not even your cachetes, your cheeks. <laughs> no? Okay, next one. Can you roll your eyes? Oh, of course. course. Everybody does it, right? <laughs> yes. Yes. Tell me your stories. Tell me your stories. Okay, huh? Uh, when do you roll see. your eyes? Like, really? In, when in a... <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. Uh, in, in a meeting when I um uh the boss of one of the departments always talk about things that don't have any sense <laughs> or something that you already know because every meeting he said the same thing <laughs> okay there's all there's actually like that special person right that tries to get your attention so people tend to roll their eyes like that no we call it a know-it-all that they know everything they have answers to everything they try to make the best job uh, yes so you're like always like oh, really again and, and people uh -huh. instead of uh -huh. yes. they roll their eyes up like oh, really again right <laughs> yeah it's true it's true what you're saying okay very good stephanie you were going to share something too mm -hmm. yeah when it's um 5 30 in the afternoon my time to to go to my house and my boss said say that yes. i have to do something in the office um and because of that i have to to leave my job um mm -hmm. almost at seven in some days so in that occasions i always oh i usually roll my eyes it's about time to leave and then you're like oh okay sorry you have to do this it, it's for yesterday it's uh-huh exactly and you roll your eyes like really i had to, well i was going to go to the movies or i was going to go out with my friends so you already had plans and uh -huh. they just cut them out yeah so you tend to roll your eyes now yes. i want you to go back to your childhood too when your mom or somebody would tell you something that you really didn't like, you would roll your mm -hmm. eyes, like, oh, really? Like, right? Uh -huh. They would get your attention, sometimes teachers, your parents, because you couldn't answer back and you would stay quiet. Then also people tend to roll their eyes as well, like, oh. right? Yes, yes. So it's something, it was something that actually happened also along the way. <clears throat> Okay, next question, let's see. Can you fix something? Um, I think I can, it's kind of my job. <laughs> fix is, a, it is <clears throat> fix is a repair, no? Yes, can you repair something? For example, I was able to fix the faucet. I was able to change for a new faucet by myself with no YouTube help. It depends on the <laughs> things that we are talking about. <laughs> okay. And um, maybe. Uh, no, no, I know. 
cases, but I try. Fix so um someday I have to I have to fix a key keyword. Oh, okay. Because a key um was stuck. No. It fly away. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Flow it flew away. away. Is, okay. Yeah. And uh, in another occasion, I was cleaning my keyboard and the, the key, the enter key is too difficult to put in, in return his position. To put it back in the no. same position. Yes, I, I sweat. I sweat to put it. In the in the right <laughs> position, no, it's no never Very do it difficult. at home. Never, it's difficult. Yes. Okay. But well, I, no. I I do it. I did it. I did. I did it. Okay. <laughs> in my case, I was able to fix a faucet. I I love well. After my mom passed away, I decided to take care of my mom's plants. So I've been gardening a lot. So I shower the plants in the morning. I shower the plants in the afternoon. Sometimes, not all the time. So this day, I don't know if I, I pressed it very hard and it, it didn't close. And I was like, what do I do, right? The first thing I thought, okay, I'm gonna turn it off. But I was going to turn off all the water from all the house. So I said, huh. So I went to the nearby tiendita, the little store around the corner, and I asked for a faucet. And I said, and I just asked, like, what do you do? Oh, you have this type of tape? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like this white tape that you put around it. I don't remember the name of it. And I say, yeah, I think I have mm. that. So I, I did it on my own. Long story short, three attempts. But the thing is that I didn't have enough strength. I needed like a, I needed a tool to actually press it tight. But I tried. I, you know, I, I did it on my own with no YouTube help, only with comments from the neighbors telling me, kind of like guiding me what to do. So I was able to fix that somehow. I needed to, a little tool. So somebody at the end helped me just ah, that strength of the tool that I needed and that's it. But I was able to fix it some, 75% of it. At least I was able to, but it was the first, I feel really proud because it was actually the first time that I, I experienced that. Uh, fixing something that you need a lot of strength to actually fix it. Like you were saying with the keyboard and perhaps with other peripherals. Anybody else fixing something not in their comfort uh, zone? When um, I received a call from a, a hospital or any doctor about the device or equipment that is failing in the moment. Okay. And I have to go to to the place to do something with that because I have to to repair to, to repair mm -hmm. it. Okay. And okay. I I he reparado. I, I, I repaired. I repaired. I have repaired because it's I, different. I have repaired. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have repaired uh, some complex equipment that I never thought that I was able to do that because um, it, it is my first job and I have very uh, poco, poca experiencia. Okay, not a lot of experience. Uh -huh. I not don't have a lot, a of, lot experience. of experience yet. Not a lot of, uh -huh. not a lot of experience, okay. So it was kind of difficult to me. <gasps> must imagine uh, what happens what happens when you guys face well back in the days when i was when i was young we had encyclopedia so there was no google to actually find out a tutorial on youtube on how to fix it i still do you first go to a tutorial do you ask people i'm very old school so i usually ask people they know more than just going on a tutorial but what do you guys do do you actually go on a tutorial to fix things do you read a manual what do you do I ask, mm -hmm. or somebody help me, or tell me. I in my at my work it happened to me, um, and when I need to do something that I, I usually don't do. Mm -hmm. 
I ask somebody okay. to have already do it. Has already yeah. done it. Done it, yes. Mm -hmm. Because I think that is better. Uh, they can give you tips. So mm -hmm. it's more easy, but... It's easier. Mm -hmm. It's easier, right? sorry. Um, I am that kind of person. <laughs> okay, nice. Wilbur, what about you? A uh, teacher, hey, was I, was I, I young, I repair the, the TVs and repair the, repair? Mm -hmm. the uh, um, grabadoras. Uh, tape recorders. Tape recorder. I do remember the tape recorder. No? <laughs> <gasps> tape recorders and TV. Wow. And repairing yeah. them, it was like not everybody actually can repair a TV mm, yeah. or open it up and actually go, you know. Yes. Yes. I, I were in, in, in repair TVs and from the uh, 19 and 18, 18 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Wow, I, I don't see myself doing that. <laughs> right now, must be, but it's right really now interesting. It's, it's, yes, right now it's no more necessary repair because all TV, all CTV is, is failure or failure? Failing? Failing. If the TVs no. are failing? Uh huh. It's no repair mark, repair more, no? Uh -huh. You don't need to repair it, you just change it or they give yeah. you, a, it has a warranty. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Wow. Now, my question is for you, all of you guys. What happens with a cell phone? Can you repair your own cell phone or do you no. actually go and have and, you know, ask for help? No, cell phone. I not really repair because the, the integrated circuit is, is uh, very complex. To, Are to, very complex. Mm -hmm. yes, to the change. circuits. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay. Nice. Okay, what about you girls? So when, when your cell phone is failing, do you actually take it to the shop or do you actually look for a YouTube video? What do you girls do? No, I give it to oh. my husband. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Fatima, girl power. You have to be able to, no, power no. to, be able to fix it. <laughs> that that word was done for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Claudia, what about you or Stephanie or Genesis? Uh -huh. um, in my case, I did. I I could couldn't uh, fix something for myself, but uh, something similar uh, in my work. Um, uh, weeks a, weeks ago, um, the printer, huh? uh, uh, the paper. Uh, uh, Se trabó, se it was stuck. It stop was the stuck. Print. stuck. It was a stop the printer, and the printer. I uh, I tried to to get out of the take out the paper. Take out the paper, and when I take out, when I took, took out, out, took it out, took out. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Took it out. Um. One piece of the printer uh, um, go away, go away, uh -huh. and then um, flew away, it flew away, uh -huh. but uh, the, the piece uh, was good in good condition, mm -hmm. and I didn't know <laughs> in that moment where was that piece, and oh and gosh, you had to I, look. Uh -huh. and, and then I I I Sorry thought your house. <laughs> I thought I uh, I I have to to fix that uh, and find because it. I mean I find, uh -huh, because oh. I'm engineer I have to 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 do it and I I found the 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 place when the piece was uh, and I fixed it. <laughs> and and where was the piece at the end? Where was it located? Like, was it far away from? Uh, it? Did it flow? Did it fly away far away, or was it nearby? Or I don't know. 
um, where the piece was a uh, 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 kind of pivot, pivot uh, uh, um, in, in the, uh, in the, I don't know how how explain the the place when the piece was, but like uh, on top of the plywood, like the plywood uh -huh. is on the roof or in the ceiling. Uh -huh. wow. um, no, no, no. The the place it fall on the uh, at the um, the table, but um, I I didn't know where was uh, where. Uh, put the piece in the printer. <laughs> ah, okay, so you didn't know how to place it back in. Uh-huh, yes. Put it back in. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, but I, I uh, started to, to saw all the, all the printer and the pieces and I found the place. <laughs> okay, wow, interesting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, but you were able to find it, and you were able to fix it. So I was like, like, yeah, girl power, good, good job. Uh huh. Yes, yes. <laughs> and and it's rewarding how you feel, right? At the end, whenever you fix something, it's like, yeah, and I did it on my own, and it took me five hours, but I did it. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. well, I yes, think yes. I think that Cloud Claudia said, "Phew." <laughs> yes. Or yeah, Phew, they're, they're not gonna discount yes. it from my check. Uh -huh. wow. exactly. You're gonna pay for it. Yeah, that was the, that was the concern. Uh -huh. That yeah. was the concern. Okay, okay. Anybody else? Anybody else? No. Okay. Let's go to our next yeah. question. Can you eat extravagantly? You know how people mix churritos with beans or pizza with Nutella or oh, French fries yes. inside the hamburgers? Can you eat? I can eat. <laughs> I can eat um, beans soap with um, cold milk. <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Explain to me that. Okay. The the, the uh, hot soup, the soup, yes. the bean soup with with cold milk as um um beverage yeah ah okay okay, okay i don't know okay. i don't know why big but uh, sorry no, i don't know why either. but uh, <laughs> and i find cold milk kind of kind of refreshing ah, so i don't know but i like that the combination mm. of it okay well it's pretty much like adding to your soup a cream, which is made out of the same pro dairy, dairy product, mm -hmm. so it's pretty much the same thing, right? No. So it's like combining. <laughs> no, I'm no, saying, I'm saying the not flavor. At all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to relate the flavor of the milk and the the cream with the dairy product. It's pretty much similar. <laughs> that you can actually combine with beans. You're helping me a little bit. <laughs> no. I was trying to help you. Give it a try and then tell us. <laughs> <laughs> but imagine this combination, pizza with Nutella. Can you imagine that? No. no. I think that it's, I, I never uh, had eaten that, but I think that it's a crepe, like a crepe, but salty. Like, like a crepe, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Crepe, sorry. Uh -huh. Or like but going to Laka Laka, they crepe. serve this, this dessert that it's banana, with it's like a pie so i guess it's because of the mainly not the pizza and the pepperoni on top but it's more like the the flour they use with it so combining the flour with nutella right or having pancakes pancakes with nutella i don't know anybody else eating something extravagantly any other extravagantly combination of food no uh, i i think that i have i am um, it today uh, eating uh, is but so um like how do you say yeah. a lot of people eat that is tortilla with milk oh, mm -hmm. oh yeah. yeah 
Ah, bueno. Yeah. Raw milk. Not cooked milk, right? Raw milk. No. Like pure okay. milk without being cooked. Can you write it? Cool. Yes, hold on. Form. Uh, just give me a minute. Because I cannot chat from here. I need to chat from here. Uh, da -da -da -da. Here we go. It's raw, it's cruda, without being cooked. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is no, raw. Cruda. No. Mm -hmm. Raw. And cooked, of course, it, it, whether it's boiled or you call it cooked because it has already gone through the kitchen or through the stove. Um, so you actually prepare and you cook it some. But for example, I know that people raw milk with hot or just handmade in the moment tortillas. Uh -huh. So I've noticed that they yeah. combine them. Or, or tostadas? Toasted tortillas. Mm -hmm. Toasted, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. I like it so much, yeah. but not, we not so weird or extravagant. It's but it's not very common. Like if you go to other countries, they're not going to have that. Yeah. For example, no. yeah, it's, I, I, it's... I heard people that say you uh, tortilla with milk. No. My back in the 80s, my dad used to work for guys and, you know, there was a lot of investors coming over to invest in, in electricity. So there was this person from Israel coming that came for the first time and my mom was eating that because my mom loved it. So, but raw milk with a just made tortillas. Long story short, he's, we really, my mom didn't speak English. He spoke English. I spoke English and my dad too. So we try to explain to him like what the flavor was. And since I had already tried it, I had to tell him it's a common, I told him it's like Kellogg's. It's like having cereal mm -hmm. with milk. Mm -hmm. And he said, you're so oh, right. Wow. I had to relate. I had to it relate to something. I had to relate to something mm -hmm. that he already knew for him to be uh -huh. able to try it because uh -huh. for him when he saw it, he, especially because in, you know, in that side of the world, they respect cows so much uh -huh. that they don't really, you know, if a cow sits down, they would wait for the cow to stand up and leave and then they would continue oh, yes. working. So they respect cows a lot. So, so drinking milk, it's, for them, it's something very, so I had to explain to him. So long story short, he did try it and he said, you're right, it sounds, it's, it tastes like cereal with milk. And I'm like, okay, so it's not that extravagant. Oh, but he didn't know no. it was raw. But we never told him it was raw milk. We never told him that because if not, we're, <gasps> we were gonna yeah. drop. I don't know. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, anybody else? Something extravagant, Rosie or Wilbert? Something extravagant you have tried? A teacher, when I in when I in uh, study in the, the university, mm -hmm. um, I eat the uh, <clears throat> a frog frog legs legs. Ah, you ate frog legs. Uh -huh. Yes, in the in the in the one lake in the in the uh, el uh, el refugio is is the place yes the place yes in, in a paneca uh -huh. there is a a, a, a a bit lake in the mountain in, in this lake the the frogs uh, are living in the holes holes work holes no uh, and me my and the, in me me my friends is cooking the 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 uh, the la, la rana the, la, la they rana. peel them uh -huh. anclas de rana which are frog legs sí. mm -hmm. yes and the and the one uh, in sartén in a pan uh huh in, in sartén with con con margarina <laughs> with margarine okay yeah. <laughs> what is the flavor what is actually the flavor of the frog's leg does it taste like and does it taste like it's what does like it the taste like? the chicken flour. It's like so similar to chicken. Yeah, yeah. Mm, okay, okay. <laughs> wow, interesting. Most people say that extravagant food tastes like chicken. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe because it's the most common no, flavor. <laughs> they, they want 
to you taste it. The one for you. It tastes like Kentucky chicken. No. <laughs> like with, and you're like a little bit salty, but like, like Kentucky chicken. Like, the combination between Campero and Kentucky, but with uh -huh. a little bit of salt. Like you and the Kellogg's. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, was like, imagine I had to use an example. I had to, you know, stand out for him to actually uh -huh. try it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Let's go. I don't know if I have more questions. Oh yeah, can you say the alphabet backwards? The other day we were talking that we're very, our mind is set to saying things forward, but try not the alphabet, but try your name backwards. A memory alphabet. Like Fatima, for example, A-M-I-T-A-F, just to give you an example, or Wilbur, H-T-R-E-B-I-W, -E just, I don't know, just like, it's very difficult because you're not so used to it because you do it this way, but you don't do it backwards. Your phone number, you do it this way, or you do a number, you do it this way, but you never do things backwards. So it's a little bit more complicated, but it's just a matter of exercising. Okay. Can you do it? Or is it difficult? Let me it is never. difficult. I have never. Did you try doing it right now? Yeah. I have never. <laughs> like Stephanie, okay. right? E I N A H P E. T-S. It's very difficult, but then it's yeah, just a it's matter of like, yeah. It's quite, it's quite. A I D U A L C. It's difficult, right? Like you have to think of any, do it in a slower pace versus doing it all the way around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's difficult yes. why do you think why do you think this happens is it your mind this is your brain is it that we have a lazy side maybe we don't challenge mm -hmm. our mind that often why do you think this happens oh uh, we're we are so used to say things in the normal way mm -hmm. and we don't practice doing it backwards backwards yeah, oh, yeah. right it's like re reprogram your mind Mm -hmm. and educating your mind practicing by practicing right it's the same with the languages so the yeah. more you practice it the better you get the more you repeat your mistakes the better you get with at them so remember i don't focus on the good uh, good things the ones that the things that you already know but i focus on the ones that you just have little that's why i every time you have a mistake i repeat it and i repeat it back so that way you have it in your mind and say okay i don't have to say it this way i have to say it that way right so you have it okay. here it's the same with the with this type of exercise, you have to practice over and over again with many names, not just with your name, with many names, with many numbers. That way your mind is always active. And this is an exercise. And I like this question because I got this question from um, an exercise they do with people. What's, what's this disease called? It's a sickness. When people start forgetting things and suddenly they forget who they, they are. Alzheimer's. Dyslexia. Alzheimer's. Alzheimer. Yeah, very good. Yeah, Alzheimer's. Mm -hmm. So they start, and so they do this type of, uh, they give them um, puzzles, they give them uh, critical thinking exercises and this type of exercises for them to actually, you know, stay active and not forget things, even though eventually their mind unconsciously will, but then to have it active, to, you know, activate their brain, they do this type of exercises with them. Mm -hmm. And I think this is our last question, yeah. Okay, can you crack your knuckles? This yes, your knuckles. I can, teacher. No. Yes. I know it's bad, no. right? It's too yes, painful. But I don't like to do that. No, it's too it painful. It bothers me. Oh. And some people have very loud knuckles when they do it. Crack. Mm -hmm. It's like this very loud sound. No. And you're like, oh. No. They crack no. all. I can't hear. I, I can't. I didn't. I can't support that. No. Oh, I can't. Me neither. <laughs> No. Okay. Why do you think people do it? Why do people crack their knuckles? For um, because they are nervous. Well, I see it nervous. In, in some people cases mm -hmm. when they're Cases. nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or is a uh, uh, they Maybe usually do it. They usually do it for. Nothing I think is a... Just a bad habit? So bad do you consider habit. this is a bad habit? Yes. Is it a good habit or a bad habit? I, I want to 
bad habit, costumbre. I think. Custom. Habit. Eso mismo. Habit. A o habit. sea, que costumbre. Mm -hmm. A habit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a, 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 a habit. For yeah, them. It's a habit. Mm -hmm. Just for nothing. Just for just, habit. Just as a habit. Just as a habit. Mm -hmm. As a habit. Yeah. yeah. Right. Also, they do it um, when they have, for example, uh, I have a lot of pain um, because I have a, a carpio, but um, uh -huh. I... I can't do it this way because I, I've heard it gives you arthritis so that, you know, they, you have to do it this way. And it's because sometimes your fingers hurt whenever they're tight, maybe because I write a lot on the board because I usually, in my classes, I write a lot. So maybe because I write a lot, I, I'm always tense. So whenever you're like tense under a lot of stress, you tend to also do it, like to relax your... No, I don't even do it. I no. I can. relax your, but you have to do it according to what they told me. The, the specialist he told me that if I do it, I have to do it this way, not this. Ah, way. yeah, yeah. Like to relax your, like your to crack your knuckles, but straight, not take. Uh -huh, take it straight. Because if not, it gives you arthritis and you're damaging your your bones. Oh no. Mm -hmm. I which I didn't know. Yeah. Okay, cook potatoes. Hey, 9.57. Wow, the time flew amazingly. I see you tomorrow, same time, same place, with a different topic. A surprise okay, topic. Okay, teacher. Thank you, okay. teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank You're you. welcome, Thank you. guys. Enjoy see the rest tomorrow. of the evening, okay? Please. Thank you. See you. Okay? Okay. Thank Bye. you. Bye, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Later. Cook it, taters. Bye.